Oh, gather round and listen to the tale of Shibata Katsui's upbringing. Now, there's a bit of a mystery surrounding his birth year. Some say he was born in 1522, while others claim it was in 1530. Let's just say Shibata Katsui liked to keep everyone guessing. Our hero, Shibata Katsui, entered this world in the mighty fortress known as Shimosha Castle in Awari Province's Aichi district. His father was none other than the renowned warrior, Shibata Katsuyoshi, who boasted noble lineage tracing back to the illustrious Siba clan. Now, here's where things get interesting. The remains of Shimosha Castle were transformed into a splendid temple called Mitoku-ji in the year 1662. And guess what? Right there, on the left side of the temple's main gate, stands a famous stone monument inscribed with the words, Birthplace of Lord Shibata Katsui. Talk about leaving a lasting impression. As a child, young Katsui went by the name, Gonroku. Legend has it that he was a clever and courageous little rascal, full of wit and bravery. Impressive, isn't it? Meanwhile, in the bustling city of Nagoya in present-day Chuo Ward, there resided a certain Oda Nobuhide, also known as Oda Nobunaga's dear old dad. Now, this Nobuhide had his eye on young Katsui's talent. He invited our hero to his own stronghold, the magnificent Kawatari Castle, and started teaching him the ways of both scholarship and swordsmanship. Talk about a fateful encounter. And that, my friends, mark the beginning of Shibata Katsui's connection to the Oda clan. Ah, the ties of destiny. It's worth noting that Oda Nobuhide was a mighty warrior in his own right and, most importantly, the father of that famous warlord Oda Nobunaga. So there you have it, a tale of a mysterious birth, a fortress turned temple and a chance encounter that forever bound Shibata Katsui to the mighty Oda clan. Who would have thought that a mischievous young Gonroku would grow up to become a formidable warrior in the pages of history? The world works in mysterious ways, my friends. So, Shibata Katsui, a loyal vassal of Oda Nobuhide, found himself in quite a pickle when his lord passed away in 1549. But fear not, for a new opportunity arose. He became the chief retainer of none other than Oda Nobunaga's little brother, the illustrious Oda Nobuyuki. Now, let me tell you a little something about the Oda brothers. Nobunaga the famous warlord to be, was known for his eccentric behavior, or as some would say, he was a bit of a cook. On the other hand, Nobuyuki was hailed as a polite and capable gentleman. Seeing this stark contrast, Shibata Katsui and his fellow retainers hatched a brilliant plan. They would overthrow the mad genius, Nobunaga and make Nobuyuki the new successor. The grand scheme was set into motion on August 24, 1556, in the vicinity of Joyama Hachimangu Shrine, located in what is now Nagoya City, Aichi Prefecture. The stage was set for the infamous Inoo Battle. Leading the charge, Shibata Katsui joined forces with Nobuyuki's loyal vassals. The valiant brothers known as Hayashi Hidesada and Hayashi Mishikane. Their first target? None other than Nobunaga's own creation. The mighty Nazuka Castle. With approximately 1,000 warriors on Katsui's side and about 700 on the Hayashi brothers' side, 
they faced off against a mere 700 soldiers loyal to Nobunaga. The odds seemed in favor of the brave rebels. Alas, after an intense and ferocious battle, victory eluded them. The forces of Nobunaga emerged triumphant. To add insult to injury, Hayashi Mishikane fell at the hands of Nobunaga himself, and Nobuyuki's stronghold, the formidable, Sumori Castle, was encircled by Nobunaga's forces. In the end, Shibata Katsui's audacious plan to overthrow Oda Nobunaga came crashing down like a castle under siege. On the other hand, heeding the heartfelt pleas of his own mother, Lady Suchida, Nobunaga graciously stepped down from his stronghold, the mighty Kiyosu Castle. Nobuyuki narrowly escaped with his life. While Katsui and Hayashi Hidesada had no choice but to apologize to Nobunaga and pledge their undying loyalty. And there you have it. A tale of ambition, loyalty, and a failed coup d'etat. Shibata Katsui's bold attempt may not have succeeded, but hey, at least they all lived to tell the tale and continue their adventures in the ever-changing world of feudal Japan. Now, let me hilariously narrate the story of Shibata Katsui's change of allegiance from Oda Nobuyuki to becoming a trusted retainer of Oda Nobunaga after his disastrous defeat at the Inoo battle. You would think Oda Nobuyuki had learned his lesson. But no. In 1558, he decided to take another crack at assassinating his older brother, Oda Nobunaga. Talk about persistence. However, unbeknownst to Nobuyuki, Shibata Katsui had already grown tired of his shenanigans. Sensing the brewing trouble, Katsui swiftly turned into a snitch and spilled the beans to none other than Oda Nobunaga himself. Furious upon hearing the news, Nobunaga resolved to take decisive action against his treacherous little brother. But how did Shibata Katsui accomplish this epic turnaround? Well, he had quite the cunning plan up his sleeve. He spun a tale, claiming that Nobunaga had fallen gravely ill. Then, with a wicked smile, he slyly urged Nobuyuki to pay a visit to the renowned Kiyosu castle. Little did Nobuyuki know that his supposedly loyal vassals, including the infamous Akeda Suneoki, were waiting for him within the castle's walls, eager to carry out their sinister mission. It was a trap, and just like that, Oda Nobuyuki met his untimely demise, courtesy of the cunning Shibata Katsui and his conniving cohorts. Talk about a twist of fate. With this audacious act, Shibata Katsui secured his place as a loyal retainer of Oda Nobunaga. From that point on, he became one of Nobunaga's most trusted and esteemed warriors. Renowned for his prowess on the battlefield and his unwavering loyalty. And so, the tale of Shibata Katsui takes yet another surprising turn. From plotting against his lord to becoming one of his most trusted followers, Katsui's journey through the chaotic world of feudal Japan is filled with unexpected twists and turns. Who knows what amusing adventures await him next? Allow me to hilariously narrate the story of Shibata Katsui, incorporating the events surrounding the crucial turning point of June 13, 1582. Shibata Katsui, the indomitable warrior, had a knack for stealing the spotlight on the battlefield. 
In fact, there was even a catchy folk song that described the unique traits of four Oda family retainers, Fujiki. The practical and reliable as cotton. Gorosaku, the indispensable like rice. Kakakare Shibata, the fierce charger, and Sakuma. The master of retreat. Katsui was so remarkable that he earned the moniker, Demon Shibata, striking fear into the hearts of his enemies. Now, let's dive into the juicy details. The nickname, Kakakare Shibata, Charging Shibata, had an interesting backstory. You see, Katsui was desperate to regain the trust of Oda Nobunaga, whom he had betrayed once before. So, whenever news of an impending battle reached his ears, he would spring into action, rushing headlong to the front lines, willingly taking on the most perilous tasks. Talk about a daredevil! Katsui's list of glorious triumphs includes the legendary Battle of Akehazama in 1560 and the daring capture of Inayama Castle in 1564. These were just a couple of examples of his military prowess and audacity. After ten years of loyal service, Katsui's true medal was finally recognized in 1568 when he was chosen to defend the shogun Ashikaga Yoshiaki in Kyoto. This marked his official ascent to become one of Oda Nobunaga's esteemed generals. But wait, the story doesn't stop there. In 1570, Katsui was assigned to defend Chokoji Castle in Omi Province. Acting as a deterrent against the powerful Rakaku and Asai clans, he joined numerous campaigns, including the Battle of Anagawa in June of the same year and the Chokoji Siege in May 1571 where he showcased his martial skills and contributed to the subjugation of the Asai and Asakura clans. Not to mention his involvement in the pivotal Battle of Nagashino in May 1575. In September 1575, Katsui received a fateful order from Oda Nobunaga himself, to thoroughly suppress the Echizen Iko Iki uprising. As a reward for his achievements, Katsui was granted the fiefdom of Echizen province, boasting an impressive 490,000 koku of rice. In November 1580, Katsui's unwavering determination paid off as he conquered Torrego Castle, finally putting an end to the stubborn Kaga Iko Iki rebellion. He emerged victorious. Now, let's fast forward to the critical juncture. In the midst of all this success, the world-shaking event known as the Honoji Incident unfolded on June 2, 1582. However, Katsui, unaware of Oda Nobunaga's tragic fate, only received the news of his lord's demise on June 5 or later. Desperately attempting to rush to his lord's side, Katsui found himself obstructed by the attacking forces of Uesugi Kenshin's son, Uesugi Kagekatsu. He was left stranded and unable to reach his destination. As fate would have it, Katsui finally arrived in Omi, but by then, it was already June 13. The day after Toyotomi Hideyoshi had vanquished his lord's enemy, Akechi Mitsuhide, in the Battle of Yamazaki. And so, the hilarious and eventful saga of Shibata Katsui continues. Filled with daring exploits, unexpected twists, and missed opportunities. Will he manage to navigate the tumultuous world of warring states and secure his legacy? Stay tuned for more exciting chapters.
Allow me to hilariously narrate the story of Shibata Katsui, focusing on his marriage to Oichi, and incorporating the events surrounding the crucial turning point of June 27, 1582. On June 27, 1582, the Kiyosu Conference was held to determine the successor to Oda Nobunaga. Among the participants were the four elders of the Kiyosu Conference, namely Tayatomi Hideyoshi, Niwa Nagahide, Akeda Suneoki, and the foremost retainer of the time, Shibata Katsui. Tayatomi Hideyoshi, as the guardian of Oda Nobunaga's eldest son, Oda Nobutada, recommended the young, Sanboshi, who was a mere three years old. On the other hand, Shibata Katsui advocated for Oda Nobunaga's third son, Oda Nobutaka, whom he had personally acted as a guardian for. In the end, Thanks to the support of Niwa Nagahide, who endorsed Toyotomi Hideyoshi's claim of primogeniture, Sanboshi was chosen as the successor. During the Kiyosu Conference, along with determining the successor, a redistribution of the territories under Oda Nobunaga's control was also implemented. As a result, Kayatomi Hideyoshi relinquished his primary domain of Omi Nagahama to Shibata Katsui and acquired the provinces of Kawachi, Tanba, Yamashiro, and Harima. On the other hand, the territories obtained by Shibata Katsui through the redistribution were only his original holdings of Echizen and Omi Nagahama which had previously belonged to Toyotomi Hideyoshi. In other words, even in terms of territorial gains, Toyotomi Hideyoshi had the upper hand, and Shibata Katsui, who had been the foremost retainer of Oda Nobunaga, found his position reversed. The achievements of Toyotomi Hideyoshi who had subdued Akechi Mitsuhide, had an immense impact. Despite being completely left behind, Shibata Katsui found a way to keep Toyotomi Hideyoshi satisfied. The clever Toyotomi Hideyoshi, so as to prevent any dissatisfaction, agreed to the marriage between Shibata Katsui and Oda Nobunaga's sister, Oichi. At the time, Shibata Katsui was 60 years old, while Oichi, who had three children from a previous marriage, was 35 years old. Although they were a mature couple, it turns out that when Shibata Katsui first served Oda Nobunaga, he had fallen in love at first sight with the then 10-year-old Oichi. To have a love that seemed impossible come true, Shibata Katsui was overjoyed. However, Kayatomi Hideyoshi wouldn't let a man get carried away with happiness without taking notice. After the Kiyosu Conference, a power struggle began between Tayatomi Hideyoshi who had expanded his influence, and other retainers of the Oda clan, including Shibata Katsui. In 1583, in the Battle of Shizugatake, Kayatomi Hideyoshi defeated Shibata Katsui and established himself as the successor to Oda Nobunaga. More accurately, Shibata Katsui was betrayed by his ally, Maeda Toshi, leading to a complete collapse and retreat. The following day, Shibata Katsui performed seppuku, the act of self-disembowelment, along with Oichi. However, a brave, resolute, and compassionate man like Shibata Katsui would not simply retreat without any plan in his final battle. When he took his own life, 
Shibata Katsui successfully managed to help Oichi's three children escape. Protecting the children of the woman he loved, this was the true victory for Shibata Katsui. The decision of a man who had someone to protect. It is widely known that one of Oichi's children, Cha Cha, later became one of Toyotomi Hideyoshi's concubines. In a span of just seven months after the marriage to Oichi, Shibata Katsui found himself neatly ensnared in Toyotomi Hideyoshi's scheme of a happy marriage. Let me amusingly narrate the story of Shibata Katsui, focusing on his exceptional administrative abilities. Shibata Katsui, known for his prowess in numerous battles, also showcased remarkable skills in governance. In 1575, he was entrusted by Oda Nobunaga as the supreme commander of the forces in the Hakuriku region. And he was granted the domain of Kitasho in Echizen province. The following year, he commenced the construction of the magnificent Kitasho Castle, with its grand keep, establishing a thriving city. When constructing the castle town, Shibata Katsui summoned merchants and artisans from the ruins of the Asakura clan's stronghold at Ichijidani, which he had annihilated. Moreover, he implemented necessary policies for civil administration, granting secure territories to cooperative temples and shrines, and bestowing privileges upon influential merchants. He also undertook projects such as the expansion of the Hakuriku Highway and the construction of the Tsukumo Bridge, over the Ashu River, focusing on the development of his domain. While governing Echizen province, Shibata Katsui was subjected to nine rules imposed by Oda Nobunaga, and he had retainers like Maeda Toshi assigned as overseers. However, even under such surveillance, Shibata Katsui demonstrated his exceptional abilities. Between 1576 and 1578, he implemented sword confiscation measures, preceding Toyotomi Hideyoshi, and conducted land surveys in 1577. Furthermore, as it was a time when the Iko Iki uprisings had recently been suppressed, he issued the Kitasho regulations, aimed at maintaining public order. Additionally, to revitalize the devastated rural areas, he promulgated ordinances that stipulated the farmer's dedication to agriculture. In 1581, the missionary Luis Freud visited Echizen province and praised Shibata Katsui's authority and accomplishments. Likening him to another Oda Nobunaga, Shibata Katsui's talents extended not only to the battlefield but also to the art of governance. Leaving behind a legacy of administrative prowess and unique achievements.